Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to create this everyday makeup look, just keep watching. So to start off, I'm going to be applying some lip balm. And this one is Ginger Tangerine from Simply Sweet. And I'm just going to be applying a little bit on my lips just so that they're not chapped for when I apply my lipstick at the end of this video. As you guys can see, I did something new with my brows. This time I did some fluffy brows rather than the dark, normal brows that I usually do. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Believe Beauty Concealer. And this is very affordable, you guys. It's only $4 at any Dollar General. So I'm going to use this to clean it out really quick. And I'm going to try not to mess this up. And then I'm just going to drag down the concealer a little bit because I need this as a base for my eyeshadow. Alright, and now that that is set, I'm actually going to go wet my sponge a little bit because it's still a little dry. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, now after I wet my sponge, I'm going to be pulling out my palette that I'm going to be using for this look. And I'm going to be using the Morphe by Manny MUA Glam Palette. I'm going to be using this as a transition shade, so we're going to be applying this on our crease and on our V area. Alright, I'm going to be applying this onto my crease now. And also, you guys, it helps if you apply it in like small circles. And then you can also go side to side. So, let's go into this outer V area. This is your outer V area for those of you that don't know. And we're going to blend this side to side. And then apply it in here. And this is our transition shade, you guys. This is what's going to help us blend out the other colors. And this is the lightest shade we're going to be using. Okay, so after that is applied, I'm going to be going in with the brush JH31. And I'm going to be applying this onto my crease. Make sure you tap off all of that extra powder that's on your brush. And then we're going to be applying this onto our crease in side to side motions and make sure you do not cover up the brown that we applied first because we still want that color to kind of peak at the top and start flicking outside like this way kind of so it can make like a little wing up here as you guys can see right there and that is going to help us when we clean out our eyeshadow towards the end and I'm going to show you guys how to do that so if you don't know how to clean out the outer edges of your eyeshadow I'm going to teach you guys so don't go anywhere by the way, meanwhile I'm doing this, please subscribe because I know a lot of you guys are not. And if you guys want to keep getting notified that I posted a new video, I need you guys to subscribe. This is a perfect everyday look, you guys. This is not a cut crease or anything like that. So it's, it's very simple and easy. So you can create this for an everyday look. Okay, and once this shade has been applied, I am going to go back in with the previous brush which was the JH32 with no product. It's the one with the brown. And we're going to go ahead and blend out at the top just so that we don't have any harsh lines. Just hold this and use the little pelitos and let them do their job. Like do it very lightly and it'll start blending better than if you're being too rough. So let's go ahead and do that because we don't want any harsh lines. Okay, now once that is done, I'm going back in with Jamenta. And I'm going back in with the same brush. It's that red shade. And I'm going to be just applying a little bit onto the brush. Tapping off the extra powder. And I'm just going to go back in to my crease. And go ahead and blend some more in there. Because right now that we just blended out with the other shade. We kind of took off a little bit of that product. So we don't want it to fade away. Alright. And then once this has been applied. I'm going to go in with a different shade now. So I'm going to be using this brush from Wet n Wild. I'm not even sure the number of it because it doesn't say it anywhere. But it's from Wet n Wild and it's flat. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Spellbound. And it's a darker, like kind of like a dark cranberry color. Let me show you guys. It's this shade right here. It kind of looks brown on camera, but it's kind of like with some red undertones. So we're going to go ahead and grab some. Do not go above your crease. Only apply this onto your lid. And I'm going to grab a little bit of the shade Jamenta. It's that red cranberry color. As you guys can see. And I'm going to tap off whatever is extra on there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this out onto the crease. So it can blend those two shades together. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to grab a little bit of the shade Spellbound again. And I'm just going to lightly apply a little bit more. 
below the crease just so that it stays nice and dark okay and once that is done I'm going back in with the brown brush this is the JH32 and I'm just gonna blend out the top this is a process you guys it could be a lot simpler but I like it to look really smoky so you just have to keep going in there it's pretty repetitive but we're pretty much almost done all right and then once that is done I'm gonna be going in with one last shade and this is called cancer and I'm gonna be using a flat brush this is the JH41 and all of these brushes are from the Jacqueline Hill collection you guys by Morphe so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this shade it's called cancer and it's like a dark brown kind of the same shade as this one but it's got some glitter in it so it's a shimmery shade as you guys can see and I'm gonna be spraying this brush with my Urban Decay setting spray I'm just gonna spray this once and then twice on the well twice but just once on each side and I'm gonna be applying this all over my lid you guys do not go above the crease I'm just applying this on top of the shade spellbound and this is like a very buttery eyeshadow so it applies so good you don't even struggle okay <laughs> that urban decay setting spray went all over the place yes <laughs> now I'm gonna go in on this eye and I'm gonna do the exact same thing all right, so once this has been applied with the brush, I'm gonna be using my finger to grab some of that product and I'm just gonna go over it with my fingers. This is the best way to apply shimmery shades, you guys. I just wanna be extra with the setting spray because it's gonna look even brighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my finger. Excuse my ugly ass nails. All right, now that that is done, I'm gonna grab a big fan brush and I'm just gonna like remove any fallout that we have even if it's not a lot it's just like a tiny bit i'm gonna be going back in with the jh31 and i'm gonna be using jamenta one last time i'm just gonna apply a little bit of product and tap off whatever's extra and i'm gonna go into that crease just to blend it out with that shimmery shade and so it doesn't look like it's applied very harshly onto our lid so just blend side to side it should be very smooth to blend You guys, I swear this freaking apartment's haunted. It, things move. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video about that. It's just so many crazy things have happened in this house already. I'm going back in with the JH32 and it's the one we use with the brown shade. And I'm not using any product whatsoever. I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the top. Just so that there's no harsh lines like I've mentioned before. This is pretty repetitive. Okay, the top is pretty much done, you guys. Now, I know my face looks... Oh, you guys, I'm breaking out so bad. Okay, next for foundation. This is a very good foundation, you guys. This is by Belief Beauty. And this foundation is so perfect for an everyday makeup look, you guys. Like, it leaves your skin very dewy and, like, moist. You don't feel very dry, so I recommend this if you have dry skin. And it's not 100% full coverage, but... It will last you all day and and it's very affordable it's only five dollars at any dollar general you guys or I don't know if they have like a website for believe beauty I think they should but it's only five dollars and it is worth it okay don't go anywhere I'm gonna teach you how to clean out that eyeshadow okay so it could look sharp kind of like a cat eye okay now that that is done I'm gonna go in with the concealer to show you guys how to clean out our eyeshadow so I'm using the Believe Beauty Concealer as well. And here we go, okay? We're going to start off in this outer corner. And you're going to line this up with your lash line, your bottom lash line. And you're just going to drag your little brush upwards. And also do the closed eye test. So like close your eye and make sure it looks good when your eye is closed. Because a lot of the times it does not, so... Let's go ahead and drag this downwards. I know this is like a lot of concealer, but this one's affordable to you guys. It's $4. And no, I'm not on any PR package. Like, I buy all of this stuff. So once this is applied, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Let's do that blinking test. Are they even? Can you guys tell me if they're even? So for powders, I actually use the Urban Decay. Okay, so for my powders, I actually, they're actually the most expensive products that I use. This is the Urban Decay Setting Powder, and well, it's a translucent powder. This is what it looks like. 
it's almost gone you guys and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this with the JH05 brush from the Jaclyn Hill collection and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my under eye I love how this sets my concealer it sets it pretty matte and I don't struggle with it so I like it and it also doesn't allow my eye to crease on my under eye so that's a big plus you guys can use any product that you guys want. This is just what I like to use. And I also like to apply a little bit on my, on my nose because these are the areas that get very oily. So I like to apply a little bit right here and then up here. I think this is called your T your T area or I don't know what the hell it's called. Something with a T. So these are the areas where I get very like oily. So I like to apply a little bit of this powder on there just so that I don't get oily throughout the day. And if you guys are wondering where I'm going... <laughs> I'm not going anywhere this is the mac powder and i'm almost gonna hit the pan with this powder too but anywho i'm gonna go in with my big fluffy brush this is the jh01 and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face so i like to stay on top of what's gonna be trending every year fluffy brows are gonna be a thing this year and it's been confirmed by moi because I've been looking at a lot of makeup companies, like cosmetic companies, and on Instagram, they've been posting a lot of models with these brows. So, <laughs> it's a thing. Anywho, let's get back to our face. Now, I'm going to go back in the palette and we're going to be doing our under eye. So, we're only going to be using two colors. I'm going to be going in with the Flat Wet and Wild brush and apply Spellbound. And I'm going to tap off that extra makeup and I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my lower lash line. Just very tightly on there, you guys. You only want to use the tip of your brush so that it's easier for you to blend. Okay, guys, and once that is applied, I'm going to be going back in with the JH31. And I'm going to be using Jamenta again. It's that red shade. And I'm going to just apply a little bit of it onto my brush. And I'm going to use this to blend out that darker shade. Okay, and then once that is done, I'm going to take a tiny pencil brush, and this is a JH39, yeah, JH39, whoops, and I'm going to grab some of this highlighter called Nova, and it's kind of like a light, light pink, so I'm going to make sure I grab enough and tap off the extra makeup, and I'm going to go ahead and spray this with a setting spray just so that it can be brighter. Okay, and I'm going to go into my inner corner and just apply it right there. So you guys can see it's a very bright. I love this. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side, but with no setting spray. Because then the setting spray is going to make it pop out a lot more. And we don't want that to stand out too much. Now, once that has been done, I'm going to be going in with my mascara. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is what it looks like. Those of you that follow me know that this is my ultimate favorite mascara. And I use this for everything and every makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a couple of coats. Don't apply too much because we're going to be applying some lashes. Although, since this is an everyday look, you don't have to apply any lashes with this. Just apply enough mascara so that they look full and it'll look good. So, lashes are optional, but I'm still going to apply them in this video. This is what's going to make your eye kind of stand out a little bit. So, I think it's important to do them, but it's optional for you guys. Whatever you guys want to do, you can do. By the way, you guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you can watch all of my next videos. So, next, I'm going to be applying some liner. You guys can use the black one, but I'm preferring this time to use the white one because I want my eyes to stand out. And this is from NYX, as you guys can see right there. I'm going to be using a spongy to bring down my skin and I'm going to apply some on my waterline. Okay, and make sure you guys don't touch your lashes so that they don't turn white. <laughs> uh, next, I'm going to be applying eyeliner on my top lash line. And I know you guys don't have to do this, but the reason why is because I'm going to be applying some lashes and I want them to sit on top of my liner. And I'm using the Maybelline gel liner i'm only gonna be applying a little line it's very very thin just as thin as possible and then once that is applied i'm gonna go in with my lashes and you guys these are very affordable they're seven dollars and these are from kj lashes 
So this style is called Jade and it's a very dramatic you guys but that's because I like this is like my second time third time using them I believe and it's okay if they're already used because these lashes actually last a long time so take notes KJ lashes is really good let me grab a little mirror so I can see what I'm doing okay I'm gonna go ahead and close my eye a little bit connect it and there we go alright look at how pretty that looks wow Okay, so now that that has been applied, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of blush. Also, that is another thing that's going to be trending this year, you guys. Only blush, like no bronzer, just blush. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a blush. So I'm going to be using a blush from Bare Minerals that I've probably had for a while, but it's the only good blush that I have that I've always used and I like. See, this is what it looks like. It's from Bare Minerals. Why is my camera not focusing? Once that has been applied, I'm going in with some highlighter. And I'm actually going to be using the same one that I used on this inner corner. So I'm going back in with the highlighter called Nova. And I'm going to be applying just a teeny tiny bit up here. I'm going to be using a tiny brush. This is the JH30. And it's very fluffy. And I'm going to be spraying a little bit of setting spray. Not too much. Just like one spray. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Okay, now I'm going back in with my blush brush brush <laughs> and i'm gonna kind of blend those two together okay and then after that has been applied i'm gonna go in with some lipstick and this one is called bloody mistress this is by kj lashes as well okay guys so this is that metallic lipstick and it's a very pretty guys it's a very pretty color but i recommend you guys do use some chapstick under or like some lip balm or whatever same thing and just so that it moisturizes your lips and they don't get dehydrated with this lipstick so yeah guys this is the finishing look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys prefer these type of videos or the ones where i do voiceovers but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to show you guys up close what this looks like and yeah